<clears throat> Thank you, Jehovah God and Father, for everything you do for me, for your kindness to me. I ask the Holy Spirit and receive on my behalf as I read and pray. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Proverbs 21. As streams of waters, the king's heart is in the hand of Jehovah. To wherever he desires, he inclines it. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but Jehovah weighs the hearts. To do righteousness and judgment is to be chosen for Jehovah more than sacrifice. Exalted eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent... Tend only to plenty, but to every hasty one, to poverty. The getting of treasures by a tongue lying is a vapor driven by those seeking death. The violence of the wicked ensnares them because they refuse to do justice. Perverted is the way of a man, guilty, but upright, the pure, is his work. But the upright, pure, is his work. It is better to dwell on a corner of a roof than with a woman of strivings and a house to share. The soul of the wicked desires evil, not finds favor in his eyes his neighbor. When is punished the scorner, is made wise the simple, and when is instructed the wise, he takes in knowledge. wisely considers the righteous one, the house of the wicked. He overturns the wicked for his evil. He who shuts his ear at the cry of the poor, also himself, he shall call and not will be answered. A gift in secret subdues anger, and a bribe in the bosom strong wrath. It is joy to the righteous to do justice, but ruin to the workers of evil. A man who wanders out of the way of prudence in the assembly of departed spirits shall rest a man shall be poor who loves pleasure he who loves wine and oil not shall be rich shall be a ransom for the righteous the wicked and in place of the upright the treacherous it is better to dwell it is better to live in a land of wilderness than with a woman of strivings and vexation A treasure desirable and oil is in the home of the wise, but a foolish man devours it. He who pursues righteousness and mercy finds life, righteousness, and honor. The city of the mighty makes go up a wise one and go down the force in which it trusts. He who keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps from distresses his soul. Proud, arrogant, scoffer, his name, he who deals in the wrath of pride. The lust of the lazy man kills him, for has refused his hands to work. All the day long he lusts with lust, but the righteous gives and not withholds. The sacrifice of the wicked is hateful, much more when he, with an evil intent, he brings it. The sacrifice of the wicked is hateful, much more when, with an evil intent, he brings it. A witness false shall perish, but the man who hears forever will speak. Hardens a man wicked his face, but the upright, he establishes his way. There is no wisdom and no understanding and no counsel before Jehovah. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but but to Jehovah belongs deliverance.
take out a book. And then... Libra Judicum, the book of Judges. And it was after the death of Joshua that inquired the sons of Israel of Jehovah, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first to fight against them? And said Jehovah to, and said Jehovah, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have given the land into his hand. And said Judah to Simeon, his brother, Go up with me to my allotment, and let us fight against the Canaanites. And will go also I with you into your allotment, and with him, and went with him, Simeon, and went Judah, and gave Jehovah the Canaanites and the Perizzites into, his, into their hands. And they struck them in Bezek, ten thousand men, and they found Adonai Bezek in Bezek, and fought against him, and struck the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and fled Adonai Bezek, and they chased after him, and caught him, and cut off the large digits of his hands and his feet, and said Adonai Bezek, seventy kings, with the large digits of their hands and their feet cut off, used to be gathering scraps under my table. As I have done, so has repaid me, God. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and he died there. And fought the sons of Judah against Jerusalem, and captured it, and struck it with the, ed with the sword's edge. And the city set on fire, and afterwards went down the sons of Judah to fight against the Canaanites living in the hills, and the Negeb, and the lowlands. And went Judah against the Canaanites living in Hebron. And the name of Hebron was formerly Kirjath Arabah. And they struck Shishai and Ahim, a high man, and Tommy. And he went from there against the dwellers of Dibar. And the name of Dibar formerly was Kirjath Sefer. And said Caleb, He who strikes Kirjath Sefer and captures it, I will give to him. Aksa, my daughter for wife, and captured it, Othniel, the son of Canaz, brother of Caleb, the younger one than him. And he gave to him Aksa, his daughter, for a wife. And it happened as she came that she persuaded him to ask from her father a field. And she alighted from upon the ass and said to her father, Caleb, and said to her, Caleb, what for you? And she said to him, Give to me a blessing, since the land of the Negeb you have given me, that shall you give to me springs of water, and gave to her Caleb the springs upper and the springs lower. And the sons of the Kenite father in law, Moses, had gone out of the city of palms with the sons of Judah to the wilderness of Judah which is in the south of Arad and they went and lived with the people and went to Judah with Simeon his brother and they struck the Canaanites living in Zep Zephath and annihilated it and was called the name of the city Hormah and captured Judah Gaza and its border and Ashkelon and its border and Ekron and its border and was Jehovah with Judah, and he occupied the hills, but not did expel the inhabitants of the valley, for chariots of iron they had, and they gave to Caleb Hebron, as he had said to as has said Moses, and he expelled from there the sons of Anak and the Jebusites living in Jerusalem, not to did expel the sons of Benjamin, and lived the Jebusites with the sons of Benjamin in Jerusalem until this day. And went up the house of Joseph also, they against Bethel, 
and Jehovah was with them, and shouted the house of Joseph around Bethel, in the name of the city formerly was Luz, and saw the guards a man coming out from the city, and said to him, Show us, please, the city's entrance, and we will deal with you with mercy. And he showed them the entrance of the city, and they struck the city with the sword's edge. And the man and all his family they sent away, and went the man to the land of the Hittites, and built a city, and called its name Luz. That is its name to this day. And Not had taken possession Manasseh, Bethshean, and its daughter villages, and Tekina, Tanak, and its daughter villages, and the dwellers of Dor, and its daughter villages, and the dwellers of Iblium, and its daughter villages, and the dwellers of Megiddo, and its daughter villages, for were set on the Canaanites to live in that land. But it was when had had become strong Israel that they put the Canaanites for tribute, but completely not did expel them. And Ephraim not did dispossess the Canaanites living in Gezer, and lived the Canaanites in their midst in Gezer. Zebulun not did dispossess the dwellers of Kitron, and the dwellers of Nahalal lived there, lived the Canaanites among them, and they became tributary. Asher not did expel the dwellers of Akko, and the dwellers of Zidon, and Aha, Alad, and Aksib, and Halba and Apik, and Rehob, and lived the Asherites, and in and lived the Asherites in the midst of the Canaanites, the dwellers of the land, for not they did dispossess them. Naphtali did not expel the dwellers of Beth Shemesh, and the dwellers of Beth Anath, and they lived among the Canaanites, the dwellers of the land, and the dwellers of Beth Shemesh, and Beth Anath, became for them tributary and pressed the Amorites, the sons of Dan, into the hill country, for not they did grant them to come down to the valley, but were determined the Amorites to live in Mount Heres, in Ahilon, Ahilon, and in Ahilbim. Yet was very the hand of the house of Joseph, Yet was heavy the hand of the house of Joseph, and they became tributaries. And the border of the Amorites was from accent of the Acrobim, from the rock and upward. We'll start there today. <clears throat> Thank you, Jehovah Heavenly Father, for your kindness to me. Forgive me where I fall short, Lord. Also be with the one that I love, Lord. Also I lift up Peggy to Victor and Demario. I ask that you watch over them. Also my brother, Lord, and his family. And uh, watch over them. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray these things. Amen.